Well, I told you at the beginning of the message that we were going to take a little time and give you an update on the building. I want to invite Ron Smith to come join me. This is Ron. If you don't know Ron, you need to know Ron. How many do not know Ron? Oh, your world's about to change, all right? Uh, Ron has been a dear friend of Kristen and I, and Ron and Michelle and their family have been a dear friend of ours for, for several years, and they've been a part of the Hills for years now as well. Uh, and, and Ron has been working uh, along with our team behind the scenes uh, of, of when it comes to a lot of stuff, but uh, really lately our new building. Uh, Ron helped us tour a whole bunch of buildings, didn't you, Ron? We've, it's a whole bunch of things. And so I've asked Ron to come and to be another voice, because you hear mine all the time, to be another voice uh, that can tell you a little bit about where we have been, where we are, and where we're going. You know, before I start, i got to tell you, when you were talking about fear, yeah. my biggest fear this morning was Is, when I got up. I don't wear socks either most of the time. <laughs> and I knew you wouldn't wear socks. <laughs> so? But you have the short pants. So, it's like, <laughs> so literally, I got up this morning, yeah. I had to find socks, first of all, and then... Do you wear blue socks with black shoes and blue pants, or no, do you wear black tip, socks? Well, you can do whatever. What'd you do? So Michelle said, <laughs> so this is true. So we have those lights that you touch, and they got a little bit, a little bit, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. We can't see either way because we're in our 50s. But she, <laughs> I said, I put on a blue sock and a black sock, yeah. and I looked over. She told me first, you wear black with your shoes, with black uh -huh. shoes. Then I went over, and she said, it look better with blue. So yeah. I wore blue. So anyway, that's just you my did fear. good. I was just that, in, that, let me see. Was it looks good. Come on, that look good. It's a lot of you fear. Got, you got a lot what on if you. I just take my socks off? <laughs> okay, anyway. How about we uh, dive in on this? All right, all right good? perfect, perfect, perfect. <laughs> all right. Well, first of all, I need to tell everybody we've got some good news. Yeah. And that means we've got some. Nope, no. we have got good news and great news. That's all right. right. All right. All right. Let's go. All right. Good. I need to all use right. that in a message, yeah. Ron. Oh, I'm going to be able to see it back there. We are sophisticated. Here. We are, man. Okay, cool. Yeah. Cool. So, uh, listen, if you're like anybody at my house, my wife and my daughter, they're asking, what's going on with the building? Yeah. What's going on with the building? What's the timetable? What's all that kind of stuff? Okay, so let me tell you, we're going to answer all your questions today. Okay? <laughs> all your questions. And not, we're not going to do that. You don't have to take any notes because it's going to be up on the website. Yes, it will. When we're done. And so when you have a question... You go to that website. That's right. Okay? So you're going to hear us say that a lot. Have you looked at the website? All right? Okay? All right. If not, you could call my cell phone. Then I'll ask you if you've looked at the website. Yeah, okay? and we're also right. going to make this video available Everything. as well. Everything. Yeah. So you can go back and look at it and, and check it out. All right? So let's start real quick. Okay? Let's go over our history. Here's the good news. Okay? Um, we spent three years looking for a building. Okay? Yes, we did. And I'm telling you, we have been in some. <laughs> yeah, we have. <laughs> They're going to bring some we of them up. murmur under. about those buildings. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we, and uh, listen, guys, we're in the hottest town in the country. Yeah. We just are. You live in the hottest town, and there is nothing that is not, it, re it requires a lot of commas. Okay. So. And, and to find a building that has the right ceiling height and then has parking, you just, it's you, just you can't believe it. all you have to go through in, in Metro Nashville yeah. to get everything done. So anyway, we used in-house professionals, our team, Judy and Robert, and Robert. And they'll, Judy be, Dane they'll be here so later. Diligently. Um, and look, and listen, we put them through the ringer. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, we had a, we found a church, so you know, you remember that? Yeah, I do we remember We actually had that. a church. Um, so just all those types of things. We also use a lot of city experts and real estate people who got tired of us. Really um, good. In February of 2018, we found a building. That's right. We found the Bellevue Theater. I've been to a lot of movies there. I, was, <laughs> I liked it. Listen, guys, and I'm telling you, we didn't just look around here. We went out to Franklin. We went everywhere. We looked at a, we looked at a spot about a mile from my house in Franklin. And I remember we were standing there, and I told John, I said, John, I love this. <laughs> But no one else will come with us. <laughs> it would have just been you and I. So, I was probably wouldn't even show up. Yeah, anyway. So so what do we do? We paid $3.8 million as a church. We paid $3.8 million. And, guys, we put $600,000 in cash down on that building. That's right. We sure okay? did. Done. So we don't owe that anymore. So that building cost now is down to $3.2 million. Um, our bank has provided and now extended an interest-only loan through 20, June of 20, May of 2020. That's unheard of. Two years. Yeah, yeah we had an interest-only loan, and because we ran into some issues, our bank has agreed to do that with us, okay? Save That's us. unbelievable. It doesn't happen, okay? Now, phase one, renovation begins, all right? Okay? 
after months of planning and drawings and start overs yes. and this and that, because that's that's a process too. We started demolition in February of 2019. Yeah, we did. Okay. Oh man, and demolition is great because you know what you find? <laughs> Problems. Okay. All right. Issues. And we had a lot of issues. Okay. Those issues have been solved. Thank the okay? Lord for that. All right. Yes. Okay, and listen, we even at one point had an offer on the building that we had to consider. Um, we turned it down. They came back. Yes, they did. Okay, we turned it down again. So we just really believe and know this building is for us, okay? Yeah. This phase of demolition, and this is you're going to see this on the website, it cost us $236,000, okay? We paid for that in cash. Cash, baby. It's gone. That's okay? right, because All right. you're... So, because, because of us, okay, phase two, structural renovation, okay, is set to begin. We greenlit it mm -hmm. Friday. That's right. Go we greenlit it. it Friday. This phase will take approximately five months, so you can go with me, June, July, August, September, October, all right? So it should be done in October. And what that entails is that is any concrete work, digging out, uh, leveling floors, that's also moving a load-bearing wall. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's also moving a load-bearing wall. Uh, that we said that, touch each other up here. That's that right. Was, that's right. That was familiar. <laughs> that has about that load-bearing wall being moved is about six figures right there. Just, and it's unbelievable it what it's going to give us in that building is is unbelievable. Yeah. Okay. You're you're going to be proud to go into this church. Okay. All right. The projected cost of this phase two is eight hundred thousand dollars. That's the good news. We're paying for it in cash. In cash, baby. Cash and money. All right. Amazing. Now, what that speaks of is that speaks of your generosity, of our generosity. Amen? Amen. That's for those of you that long before you ever turned a pledge in have been giving faithfully and giving faithfully. And so thankful that we have been able to keep our overhead low as a church. And we've been able to take money out of our general fund and put right into savings for the past five years. So, that's, that's because of y'all, so thank God for that. Who knows what comes after phase two? Phase three. Phase three, phase three is build out, okay? Now, somehow, they tell us it's quicker than phase two. That's right. They're so probably they're lying. lying. <laughs> probably so. Okay. Don't touch my leg. I, I, okay. All right, anyway. okay, phase three is build out. All right, this is the good stuff, okay? Our goal is for our first service to be Easter Sunday morning next year, okay? That's our goal. That's Come our on. goal. That's our goal. Say goal to your neighbor. Goal, All right. baby. All right. Okay. The projected cost of this phase is two point seven to three point nine million dollars. We don't have that cash. <laughs> <laughs> That's the greater news. Okay. All right. Now, now, who has a question about two point seven to three point nine? Someone just ask it. Why the difference? Oh, that's oh, so great. good. Thank you so much. That's great. Okay. Let me tell you why but the that's difference. That's actually in our notes. Why? Yeah. <laughs> Who has ever renovated or worked on a, a, a house or a car? It cost exactly what you were thinking when you started. Who, who, who cost exactly what? Absolutely. Okay. All right. We have some goals. We went out and got these architectural drawings. And Quit man, touching they, me, Ron. They were, they were fantastic. Y'all remember seeing them? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. they were great. We're not doing all that. All right. <laughs> Now, we want to do most of it, and let me tell you why. The difference in these prices is this. Better youth facilities, mm -hmm. better children's facilities, uh, better gathering areas, a better way to have local business leaders come in and, and host events for our people and, and have job fairs and all those kind of things. We can do this with $2.7 million, but we can really do it with $3.9 million, and we're going to go into that, okay? That's right. All right? Now, let's review, okay? Okay. What we must have is $2.7 million to move into the building, okay? All right? What we feel we need is $3.9 million, okay? Or four if you feel it. Come yeah. on. Now, now, also remember this. Remember when I started at the beginning, I talked about the interest-free, okay? That's still a $3.2 million note out there that will transfer to a conventional note. So our actual cost on this property is going to be five point nine. Okay, you get these numbers, you'll see it. That 5.9 is if we do the 2.7 with the 3.2. Okay, everybody with me? Yeah. 7.1 is if we do what we prefer to do 
with the 3.2. That's the only difference. Don't get my wife. That will take us a month. Okay? Don't tell her she's coming to the 1030. (laughs) She and this babe, I'm sorry, but I've got my socks on. Okay? All right. Now, I promise good news and great news. news. Here's the great news. Let's go over the plan and the timetable. Okay? Now that we know all the numbers and what the bank will loan against, and by the way, guys, the bank will loan against dollar for dollar everything we pledge and raise. Okay? All right? This summer, we're going to begin a process of meeting with some members to try to get a head start on raising this money. Okay? This is what you need to remember. Okay? We need one-time donations, and then we're going to ask for three-year pledges from every member, which Remember just means... pledge cards, those legacy cards that you took home? Just means you're going to make a pledge, and you're, you're agreeing that you're going to pay it over a three-year time period, okay? Um, we're not asking... Listen, it doesn't help us for you to get crazy, okay? Pledge what you can. That's those right. who can get crazy, get, get crazy. Cray cray. All right? Okay. All right, here's the deal. We're going to take those pledges up. We have to have them in between September 8th and September 22nd. That's, a three, that's the three Sundays after Labor Day, okay, that we'll be taking those in. That's really the next time you're going to hear about this, okay? We, we're going to pray this summer. Everybody's going to be thinking about it, but we don't need to talk about it. You have the numbers. This is what you need to be praying about. If you've got questions, you can call me, okay? But this is what we're doing. Now, this is the one thing I want you to remember, We are going to have a massive celebration on Saturday, September 28th in the parking lot of our building. That's right, baby. Okay? Massive. All right? And we're believing that that night we'll announce that $7.1 million has been raised. Come on. I believe that. All right. So, any questions? No. It's all on the website. All right? (laughs) Listen, seriously, I was thinking when you were talking about this, I was thinking when you were talking about the sermon. Um, Last night, I don't know. Is anybody watching Chernobyl on HBO? We so, don't have HBO okay. on. Well, we, we just have it for research. <laughs> um, it, last night, the, the, the show was on, I, and Michelle said, what, what, what was Chernobyl? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Um, and some of you are probably saying that. Chernobyl was, a, was an accident that happened in the, Russia. Um, and I thought it was a, you know, kind of a big deal. But last night, the episode showed, um, uh, and this is a communist country, you know, they've taken God out of everything. But literally, guys... That part of the world was getting ready to blow up. We were 48 hours away from losing tens of millions of people, whole countries over there. And uh, three men, three men volunteered Mm. to go into the water. They offered them 400 rubles, which amounts to nothing. Mm. And three men went into that facility because they had to manually open the doors to let the water out so we wouldn't have this huge thing. And it would have affected us here, guys. It would have come here too. But three men had faith and they had to stand in a room like this. There were about 60 of them and three stood to go in and do that. Man. And it changed the world. So we can change our part of the world I here. believe that. Right. No doubt about it. Thank you, Ron. Come on, y'all. Thanks, Ron. So good.